this is Becky Moeller. I'm the Executive Director of SA Lifeline Foundation. And this presentation is to all of our many members across the world who were not able to make it to our conference on November 17th, 2018. We want to share our exciting news with you and fill you in on everything that you missed. So to start, we wanted to educate everyone about the organization that they belong to. We begin by talking about SA Lifeline Foundation and how it's different than SAL 12 Steps. SA Lifeline Foundation was started in 2009 by Stephen and Ril Croshaw. They started with about three and a half years of sobriety under their belt and with a deep understanding that what they had found in the last three and a half years was decidedly different than what they had experienced the 35 years previously. So they started the foundation not knowing really where that would take them, just knowing that their mission was to provide hope that there was recovery possible for the problems of sexual addiction and betrayal trauma. Over the next few years, they were able to publish a few publications that have been significant to this community. Don Hilton's book, He Restoreth My Soul, was published in 2010 with the help of a, a panel of experts and a committee that worked together. SA Lifeline Foundation was able to publish the Understanding Pornography Manual in 2011, and Rill's book, What Can I Do About Me, was published in 2012. Then in 2014, they decided that they needed to separate from SA and SNON, where they had been practicing 12-step, and they needed to start their own 12-step meetings. This was a surprise. This was not something that they had expected to do, and really it came from a situation that happened in their own space where there were mixed gender meetings and it was just not a safe environment for recovery. And so the Croshaws really felt compelled to begin their own program and hold to gender specific meetings and also keep God emphasized as the center of recovery. So in 2014, they began SAL 12 step meetings. These meetings are just like SA and SNON. They are anonymous, autonomous, self-supporting. They follow the traditions of AA, use AA, SA, and SNON materials. And as we mentioned, they are gender-specific, non-denominational, and emphasize God as being at the center of recovery. So just to recap there, the difference between SA Lifeline and Foundation and the SAL 12-step groups is important to understand. The Foundation functions as a private nonprofit entity that provides hope and education. It also supports and gives shape to the individual SAL 12-step groups, although those 12-step groups each function autonomously and independently of the Foundation. Mostly the work of the Foundation is sustained financially by literature sales and by a few generous donors. And the work is accomplished by a small staff and historically that has rested heavily on the work of the Croshaws. When you donate to your SAL 12-step group, you are typically not donating to the foundation unless your group has decided to make donations back to the foundation. This is important to realize because the foundation is the organization that is producing and providing the educational materials, the administrative resources, and in many cases, the space where our meetings are happening. And right now in our culture, in our SAL culture, we are not systematically giving back to the foundation to help support those resources and those spaces. So if you attend online meetings or meetings at Thanksgiving Point or meetings in Mapleton at the Croshaw's residence, the space and online platforms that you enjoy so that you can attend your meetings is made possible through the foundation. We're coming to really recognize that for the work of the foundation to be sustained, we need to change our culture and to shift our model. We really need donations from our community both our online community and our in-person groups to sustain the foundation's ability to continue to provide the resources that it currently offers. 
your SAL 12-step group functions as its own entity. So each group functions independently. You have your own leadership. Each group is sustained by the strength, hope, and experience of each one of its members. Each member that is willing to continue to come and work their 12th step and continue one day at a time in lifelong recovery is what makes this program so valuable and powerful. When you donate to your SAL group, you are not donating to the foundation. Typically, group donations go to provide activities that that group might decide to do. Our hope is that we can shift this culture into a model that's more like AA, where SAL groups might choose to donate back to the foundation. In AA, this happens regularly. Our situation is that the foundation is providing many things for its members. The foundation is what provides the events, including the conference, including our women's retreat. That's coming up May 2nd through the 4th, and I'll just put a little plug in for that. That will be an awesome recovery experience for anyone who's able to attend. And the foundation also provides all of the online resources, the websites, as well as publications and platforms for online meetings for its members. So just to give you an idea of that, the current cost of the foundation just only to provide meeting spaces and the online platforms alone is close to $40,000 each year. That's not including web maintenance. That's not including any publications it prints. That's just to provide meeting spaces. So there is a significant cost to the foundation just to provide the spaces that are used by the SAL 12-step groups. This is Nonprofit 101, and this year it has been kind of a turning point for the foundation. They asked me to be executive director in May, and this is a new thing. We've just got our books in order, just getting started and kind of getting our feet on the ground as far as the organizational structure of nonprofit. And we have lots of people that have told us, they've said, no money, no mission. So that's a quote from Peter Brinkerhoff, uh, Mother Teresa, and our own local guru, Gerald Neveker. So as we thought about no money, no mission, and had to look logistically past the mission that we're all passionate about and say, okay, well, how are we going to financially support the work of this foundation and make it something that can be sustainable? And what we decided to do was look to the wisdom of AA, that that is where our roots are and we value their experience. And AA, when you look at it from an organizational standpoint, is a fabulously successful nonprofit organization. As we looked at their structure and their functionality, we realized that the foundation of SA Lifeline functions to our SAL 12-step groups, just as central office functions to AA groups. Central office maintains meeting lists, it gives guidelines for the meetings, it distributes literature, organizes events, there's people there to answer inquiries, to handle public relations, they put out a newsletter just like we put out a blog, and they have some paid employees and volunteers to take care of the logistical aspects of running an organization. And when you look at AA Central Office, it is funded by three sources literature sales, donations from the AA groups, and donations from individual members. AA is really unique in the nonprofit world in that it only accepts donations from its own members. So when you look here at the financial overview of AA and you see $8,200,000 in contributions, it is significant to recognize that those contributions 100% of those contributions are coming from members of AA who are choosing to give back. Comparatively, their literature profits are less than half of what they collect through their contributions. So AA brings in close to $12 million a year in income, and it costs them 10 to $11 million just to run their organization because it takes money to run an organization. So for SA Lifeline, our Books don't look quite as overwhelming as AA. We're not an $8 million nonprofit, but it does cost us money to run the organization and to produce the resources and materials and platforms 
are necessary for us to do the work of recovery. What I think is significant on this financial overview is when you look at the overall contributions, we collected about $41,000 in contributions thus far in the year 2018. And this is pretty typical of past years. And the breakdown is also pretty typical. We had a little over $10,000 donated from a business. So that was a corporate donation. And then there's one woman who's donated every year for the last several years. And her donation has been really key, crucial in maintaining the work of the foundation. It's a, she has been given a $25,000 donation each year. And then comparatively, our members have donated about $5,000. And for that, we are grateful. But we really have come to realize as we look at the long-term view for the foundation that we need this culture to shift. And we need to look to our members to be able to say we need each of our members to feel the desire and even the responsibility to give back, to continue the work of the foundation as a small show of gratitude for the gift that they've been given through recovery. As you look at this profit and loss, right now we're at a profit of $29,000 for the year. But on the right, these are the bills that we are still outlying that we'll be paying over the next month or so just to fund our events, to fund the videos and um, educational resources we produce, the printing of the Understanding Pornography Manual was just reprinted. And so we have $33,000 of outlying expenditures. So really historically, the foundation up through this point just kind of struggles to break even every year for the foundation to continue to grow the recovery resources we offer. We need your donations. As we've thought about donations and sustaining the foundation, we've also thought about not just financially strengthening the foundation, but also strengthening the foundation through strengthening each one of us as individuals. And what we have kind of come up with is this new resource, which we're so excited about. And it's called sal12step.org. And it is full of recovery materials to help you move forward in recovery. It is truly a revolutionary way to work recovery. And I believe that it is unique, different, and better than anything else out there. It will help you in every aspect of your recovery if you choose to explore it and use it to work. At the bottom of the homepage, we have some tools to make it easier for you to work your program. We have service opportunities listed. So if you're looking for ways to give back and, and you don't know how to do that, we're looking for online group moderators. We're looking for in-person group moderators. We're looking for people with graphic design skills. We're looking for blog writers who would be willing to write a post and share their strength, hope, and experience. So if you're looking and interested for ways to give back and don't know how to do it, check out that service opportunities. The middle button there is the procedural documentation for how we start and run SAL meetings. So if you're interested in that, check it out. And then finally, we're excited to announce that we will be selling all the materials you use to work your recovery. So for the men, that would be the big book, the white book, Step Into Action, and 12 and 12. And for the women, that would be the green book and the blue book. You'll now be able to buy those as bundles on sal12step.org, and you won't have to hunt them down all over the internet. But the heart of this website really is about working the steps as we considered what are the things we could do to sustain the foundation financially and just people-wise. What kind of people, what kind of recovery do we need to sustain the foundation? And we looked at our own individual lives and our own individual experience. And the question we said was, what one thing has made the biggest difference in my life? Working the steps. When we considered our meetings and when considering when a really good meeting versus a meeting that maybe wasn't as meaningful or impactful. What's the difference? 
the people, the meetings that are impactful are when the people there are working the steps and then they have strength, hope, and experience to share that comes from their conscious contact with God that comes through working the steps. And then when we look at our view of recovery, which is also unique to other recovery programs, because we see recovery as a lifelong practice of one day at a time, healthy living. And what assists us in that kind of an outcome? Working the steps. So we created SAL 12 step courses, and there's lots of different courses that can help you. They're all designed to help you work the steps more consistently, more effectively, and maybe on a deeper level than you're used to working them in your life. The two that courses that we want to promote initially to our community are the men's and women's step work curriculum. The men's curriculum uh, is 240 days of step work. It weaves together all four of the men's resources, the white book, Step Into Action, 12 and 12, and the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. You will do selected readings and then answer a few questions every day. And within 240 days, you should make your way through all 12 steps. It's important to recognize this is not a replacement for your 12 step meeting. This is to keep you moving and working with your sponsor in between your meetings. So this is something that will supplement the 12 step work and the way that you are already working your steps. But it's something that will bring that, that practice of working and applying the steps into your daily living. And for the women, we have 150 days where you would do 30 minutes of step work per day to get you through all 12 steps. Again, this is meant to supplement your works and keep you moving forward in between your meetings. And this weaves together the blue book, the green book, and also several resources from our SA Lifeline Foundation blog posts. And uh, deeper step four. So step four through this curriculum takes you about 28 days to go through and look at lots of different aspects of your life, definitely more than what the Blue Book offers you. Our hope is that our community will have the desire to enroll in the men's or women's curriculum and use that curriculum to help them grow stronger and deepen their own recovery, be more committed to their step work because what we have found, and I can say from my own experience, I can speak in the I, not the we, that when I work the steps, I see God working in my life. He shows up everywhere. And I can actually witness and feel my character defects being removed as I work the steps. So our hope is that the men and women in our community will have the desire to work the steps more and to be more committed to that practice. Enrolling in the men's or women's curriculum will set you up with a $10 monthly donation and you have the option to cancel at any time, but that 10 recurring monthly donation will give you ongoing access to that curriculum and it's an online journaling course. So you'll do the work on the website, you'll be moving through the steps and you can share that work with your sponsor. To put that into perspective, one year of enrollment in the SAL 12 step curriculum would be $120. And that's about what it costs to spend an hour with your therapist. Really the result of all of our members being willing to give a little back each month will make a huge difference in our ability to sustain this work of recovery. In addition to these curriculums, we have many other courses that I am personally very excited about. Even after four and a half years of working recovery, I have room to grow in all of these different areas and these courses would benefit my life immensely. So if you're just getting started, we have intro to recovery course for you. If you're working on boundaries or you're having trouble finding sobriety, we have really good courses on boundaries and bottom lines that can really help you identify some of the key issues in your life that might be keeping you from finding sobriety and women from finding serenity if you don't have the right boundaries in place. In addition to these basic curriculums 
for step work, there's also a host of other specialized courses that are designed to help members, whether they're newcomers or longtime members, increase and deepen their step work and find more of the gifts of the program in their life. One of those courses that we're excited about offering for our community is Power of 12. This is a course we've done two times before for women, one time before for men. I've gotten to be a participant in this course and it's been awesome. And I definitely saw God working in my life through this course. And even though I'd been in recovery for about three years when I started this course and had been through the 12 steps before and been through lots of therapy, the power of 12 really helped me identify new character defects that were still contributing to ongoing trauma, ongoing stress and anxiety in my life, ongoing fears that I still had not really dealt with that I had still kind of put on the shelf in my former step work. And Power of 12 was what I needed to work through those things on a timeline. It pushed me to deadlines. It pushed me to keep moving. And I was able to see God work in my life in really remarkable and powerful ways. So I can give you a personal plug for Power of 12. That course constitutes a $75 one-time donation. All of these specialized courses constitute a a one-time donation while the curriculum set you up for a monthly recurring donation. So hopefully you'll see that pretty clearly once you start exploring the website. Um, Another resource that we're so excited to offer is guided meditations. If any of you live in the Utah area, you may have been able to uh, do a meditation with Holly, our Holly, and she is incredibly gifted individual and she will be um, putting out meditations regularly so that will be another monthly subscription to have access to those guided meditations if you have not tried meditation and explored mindfulness and meditation as a part of working your step 11 i would suggest that that can be a real game changer in your recovery it definitely has been in mine so in closing i just want to share that i know that the world needs this program I think all of us can speak from our own experience and say that we spent many years struggling and many years in chaos and confusion and pain because we didn't know where to turn. We didn't know what was happening. We didn't understand what we were experiencing and what the real problem was or what the real solution was. The world needs to know and understand that there is a path for recovery from sexual addiction and betrayal trauma and that those conditions are real and they affect every aspect of our lives and the way we operate in our lives. And for the foundation to be able to spread that message of hope for recovery, we need you. This community is not about any one person. It is about each one of our stories. It is about the strength, hope, and experience of each person who works the steps and sees God working in their lives and is healing. That is where the power of this program lies. We need not only your donations, but we need you. Your strength, your hope, your experience, your willingness to be a sponsor, your willingness to moderate your meetings, your willingness to open your mouth and share the message of recovery with the world in need, with the neighbor in need. We are the ones to help the world in need. So we hope that you will join us working the steps on an ongoing basis. We will change your life over and over and over again. It doesn't matter how many times you work them, they will continue to work. So we hope that you'll feel inspired to recommit and commit at a deeper and more consistent level to working the steps and committing to your own recovery and that you'll have a desire to financially support the foundation so that it can continue to do this great work for a world that is truly in need. Thank you so much for listening and we are so grateful to have you as part of our community.